In this video, I'm going to discuss several factors that can cause certain individuals to test positive for THC on a urinalysis for longer than that one month average. And there are certainly other factors that are out of an individual's control, like their individual metabolism. But in this video, I'm going to give you four factors that are under the individual's control, at least somewhat. And first, we have to remember that THC is fat soluble, meaning that it can be stored by body fat and then released later in time when that body fat is broken down and then metabolized and then potentially can show up on a urinalysis. So the first factor that can cause some individuals to test positive for longer than one month is how much body fat they are carrying. So individuals with a higher body fat percentage can potentially then store THC and then release it into the bloodstream later in concentrations high enough to tip you back over that 50 nanogram per milliliter cutoff that we are looking for on a urinalysis. Second is how much or how frequently an individual uses. So individuals who are very heavy users or who have used for a very long period of time can test positive for longer than that one month average. And number three on the list is hydration. Now remember that THC must be metabolized in order to be excreted through the urine and proper hydration is essential to keep your metabolism running efficiently. So individuals who don't keep the proper hydration or who are dehydrated run the risk for testing positive for longer than that one month average. And finally, let's talk about exercise. So as we've already stated, THC can be stored in body fat and then when that body fat is broken down, that THC can be released into the bloodstream, metabolized, and then excreted through your urine. So regular sustained exercise can be great for keeping this body fat turning over. But I highly recommend against starting an aggressive exercise program right before you have a drug test because this can cause that body fat to be broken down and then all of that THC be dumped into your bloodstream, metabolized, and then excreted in your urine, potentially causing you to tip back over that 50 nanogram per milliliter cutoff that we are looking for on a urinalysis. So regular sustained exercise over a long period of time is great, but please do not start an aggressive exercise program right before a drug test. And those are four factors that can cause you to test positive for THC on a urinalysis for longer than one month. 